Today's lesson is just about to commence. Hello. And learners in this particular classroom are for the first time set to interact with this, an abacus. A calculating tool that traces its roots in Europe and Asia. A tool consisting of a frame and beads sliding on a wire initially used to solve simple arithmetics. Five, less three, less five. In this classroom, however, it is used for more than that. In fact, to many here, this is the best thing to ever happen to them. We want to enhance the brain capabilities of our children uh, in terms of how they behave in class. Before learning how it works, they first clear their desk and are given time to interact with their abacus, familiarizing themselves with every intricate detail. So when we start working, we start working at the middle point. This one's like our middle point. So at the middle point, we call it our ones. So just the way we are doing in school, our ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, as we continue. Each bead has a value of one. So when you tell a, a learner to add one, he or she has to push one bead up. Then to add a five, a five is now the upper bead. The one upper bead has a value of five, depending on the place value. Once complete, they start solving basic mathematical problems. As curiosity quickly turns into academic fascination, making learning interactive. Pupils fail in class not because they don't know, because there is a slight bit of concentration that is not there. Actually, it's very quick to understand. For the learners, it can even take a month. They have already known the basics. In a different classroom, we find learners deep in thought, immersed in another stage of the Abacus program. The sound you hear is that of the Abacus as their class teacher constantly monitors her learners, with most learners aged between 5 to 14 capable of solving basic mathematical problems, teachers are always eager to assist them when moving to the next stage of the program. Before the introduction of the abacus to our school, most of the learners had a lot of problems. But when they started learning abacus, the speed in learners actually increased gradually. Learners can be able to work out sums very fast. They can even complete before time allocated. An avenue for improving critical thinking and creativity, the Abacus Learning Program, which is fully in line with the competency-based curriculum, has seen learners also do well in other learning areas. The notion that people have out there is that Abacus, we do teach mathematics. That is not what we teach. We use mathematical as a, mathematics as a vessel. Once a child is good in sciences, and that is mathematics, then it translates to any other subject. In the advanced level of an abacus class, this is what happens. Four, five, one, six. Yes, you guessed right. They are solving mathematical problems in the air, mimicking the abacus with exact precision. That one we do in the air, it's called anzan. So whereby the pupils can be able to do it without the abacus. Now that the abacus has actually developed in their brain, it actually gauge the speed and also memory of the learners without having to count fingers, having to write somewhere at the back of the book. They even do out there when they are playing, they tell each other, add five. The major benefit I'm gaining Abacus in is confidence, speed, memory and concentration. I can do sums without difficulties because my memory is sharp. Abacus Kenya offers its programs in at least five counties and now hopes to expand it across the country. Though the abacus remains to be a calculating tool that hasn't gained popularity in the country, it remains to be a beneficial tool, particularly for young learners in nurturing their different academic capabilities. Shukriwa Chukai, 24, at Kingsmith Junior School in Kiambu County.